All right, hello, this is Keith here, and uh, today I've noticed a pretty annoying uh, bug with my Steam controller. Um, in fact, I've actually known it for a couple of days now, but I thought the uh, recent update might fix it, but uh, unfortunately it didn't. Uh, so yeah, here's how the bug works. So I was trying to get a PlayStation 1 emulator working in big picture mode, and um, of course I wanted to sort of do a, a valve only setup and I wanted to you know be running big picture mode and I wanted to use my steam controller as my emulator controller um, and that worked fine I was able to go and open the controller settings for uh, the emulator and you see here go to device it does see the controller as an Xbox 360 pad and then I just changed the the desktop configuration in big picture mode to uh, that of an Xbox controller and it works fine and I can map everything and everything's all swell. Um, but the issue I ran into was uh, whenever the gamepad is turned off, even if I turn it back on, um, it seems that app some applications don't recognize it as an Xbox, cannot recognize it as an Xbox 360 pad at that point. Um, this application does this. Uh, Skullgirls does it as well, I've noticed, and I think Battle Block Theater as well. Um, I couldn't even get Battle Block Theater to work at all on Xbox 360 mode with my Steam controller, so I'm not sure what that's about. But anyway, yeah, as you can see, it says, you know, I'm actually using my Steam controller to move around right now. Um, it says it detects the controller as an Xbox 360 pad, and I can map everything. Um, but So let's close out the application real quick. I'm going to turn my Steam controller off. So I'm going to come over here. Let's go into big picture mode. takes a little bit. I'm going to hold the button down, turn my controller off, and I'm going to make sure you guys can hear that little beep. Okay, so controller's off. Now I'm going to turn it back on. And this is wireless, I should mention. Um, it seems to happen on wired as well. If I have the controller plugged in as a wire, and then I uh, disconnect the controller and plug it back in, this same bug does occur. So yeah, anyway, turning the controller back on. Um, and we're going to go ahead, you know, exit big picture mode just to sort of put it in the same state it was prior. And this can, this bug seems to happen whether in big picture mode or not. It just happens, right? It's annoying. Um, so yeah, launch PCS XR. Go to controller settings, and as you can see, under device, it no longer comes up. And the controller, and whenever I press something, the emulator no longer sees any Xbox 360 input being sent to it. Uh, this is pretty annoying as you can imagine because I don't know I'll I'll go to the bathroom or maybe I'll go uh, do something and it might take a couple minutes and you know my controller is set to turn off after a set number of time and I'll come back control will be off I'll turn it on and then you know I'll go to do something and nothing will work. Um, so yeah that's that's quite annoying and I actually have to go to my keyboard and turn it off. Um, this bug doesn't occur when an Xbox 360 pad like I can plug an Xbox pad in, unplug it, plug it back in, and it'll see it again, you know, no problem. Um, but anyway, yeah, let's just go ahead and launch Skullgirls in big picture mode just so I can show you guys that the uh, game does not function um, being detected as an Xbox pad at this point. Let me just search for it. Uh, it's quicker to make games in my library. I still shall set myself to offline, so that way I stop getting notifications. Sorry about that. But yeah, as you can see, for Skullgirls, I have everything mapped to emulate an Xbox pad, like you really should for this sort of game. And then I launch it. And I'm pressing buttons right now, and nothing is happening. Now, if I re if I reboot my computer entirely, turn the controller on and then play the game it'll work fine this bug only occurs whenever my controller has been turned off and then turned back on of course so as you can see I'm pressing I just hit escape so I can get some damn skip the intro but as you can see pressing buttons nothing um, and the controller still works as a mouse and keyboard device like as you can see I'm moving around the menus and if I set this to directional pads um, no, that's not gonna do anything. If I see if I set this to down arrow, give it some time. See, it'll work. It'll work fine. 
So it still sees uh, the controller as a um, as a mouse and keyboard. It just not the game just isn't. I don't know if it's an application thing um, or what, but it's it's very annoying. Hopefully this issue can get uh, fixed. Um, so yeah, I gotta go to my keyboard, exit out. <coughs> so yeah, um, and what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna turn the controller off. Once again, make sure you guys can hear it. Take out the back, take out the batteries, and then plug it in through wired, just to show that the bug still occurs even when the controller is wired. So, I'm plugging the dongle, putting the control, plugging the controller in to the US mini micro USB. You guys hear that little beep? Putting the back plate back on. Like I'm narrating everything for you guys. And then launching Skull Girls. As you can see, as you can hear, nothing. Uh, it's a very annoying issue. Uh, it's just like like right now I can. Let me just go ahead and put my controller down. Get my Xbox 360 controller. All right, get this sucker out. Plug her in, immediately starts working. And now I'm gonna take my Xbox controller, just unplugged it, plugging it back in, starts working again, immediately. And it even still says player one. Uh, and then let's go ahead, launch the emulator once again, to once again showcase that this is an issue with the scene controller specifically. Uh, so yeah. So as you can see, it sees the Mad Cat's Xbox controller. I unplug it. Might still say it sees it. So let's just relaunch it. It's very strange. You see it no longer shows up. I'm gonna plug it back in. I gotta launch the controller settings. And bam, the controller shows up. So this isn't uh, an application bug. This does has something to do with the way you know the Steam controller works when it's uh, disconnected. It's really it's really annoying because you can go away for a little bit. I don't know. Maybe you gotta check your mail or cook yourself a meal or do whatever, and it takes you know whatever amount of time you have set your controller to shut off, and then you come back and your game just no longer works. And the only thing that seems to work is rebooting the computer entirely. Now I've tried a couple things. I've tried to use the, uh, what is it called? You, uh, let me let me find it real quick. I have the command in my history. Uh, yeah, there you go. UDEV, I've been, I tried to say to run UDEV trigger so that way maybe it'll, you know, reload the, relog the controller or something, you know. Um, but sadly, doesn't do anything. Uh, the only thing I can get, the only way I can get this bug to stop is if I just completely reboot my computer and then it detects the controller again, fine. But once again, as soon as my controller is turned off and then turned back on, nothing. Um, and it's weird though, because some games still sort of work. Like, let me see. Uh, what's the game that I don't have a lot of games that actually use the Xbox controller mapping. Um, actually, I think this is another game that does not work. It seems to be on a pure on a uh, per application basis, so it might just be the front ends that these games are using. Okay, Lethal League doesn't work as well. Okay, huh? Strange. So yeah, Lethal League doesn't detect my controller either anymore, and that's mapped to Xbox as well. So yeah, uh, very annoying issue. Oh wow, that game bugs out. Steam big picture. That's good. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, uh, just an issue I ran into. Very annoying. Hopefully this can get patched soon. Uh, I'm still living my Steam controller, but yeah, I, I sort of I was gonna do a video on emulators in big picture mode. Um, I was gonna showcase like Wii emulators and PlayStation emulators and all that, um, but this has sort of stunted me because uh, hopefully this bug can get patched. Um, yeah, anyway, thanks for watching. Keith signing out.